everyone welcome back to just the girl we are nearing the end of November and this is actually gonna be really late in compared to the other videos I've gotten done um, this is as you can tell by the title it's a birch box review video it is not an open box video because I couldn't wait and I would opened it as soon as it came in the mail and sorry I mean how many videos do you guys need to see of me actually opening the box I'm pretty sure you guys are just you know wanting to know what's in the box if it was worth it this month um, what I think of the products, blah blah blah, yada yada yada, things like that. But this is the box. Same box as every other month. And this month, let's see if I can get to, there we go. Alright, and this is what was inside, you know, top of the box is their 2012 holiday gift guide. Actually, I haven't even looked through this yet. Um, the outside's really cute. Flipping through, it just looks exactly like it says it's a gift guide on what to get different types of people see this one says gift for handsome and it's got like a bunch of different products for men and so okay maybe it wasn't really worth it but the outside's cute all right pink tissue paper and I'm fairly certain every month is pink tissue paper I really can't remember so oh well it's tissue paper all right and this month the theme was give and I'm going to go and order on what's on my card. And my first thing is the Curly Hair Solutions Curl Keeper, which is this. And it says, comb this light water-based serum through wet hair to keep your curl shiny, defined, and frizz-free. Um, I'm not really sure if I need it. This is my hair naturally. Like, my hair's, as you can tell, it's not curly, but it's not straight either. I wish it was straight. And you can tell by over this direction... It's been in a bun and a ponytail most of the day, so it's all decked up. And it's like a quarter after eight at night, so please excuse my mess. I had to hurry up and do my makeup. I've got a bonfire to go to in about an hour, so i got to make this quick. Uh, but this, let's see, this is a one ounce. It says a full size is $10. This is, so obviously this is most definitely not a full size. If this was a full size, I would find a different company to use. Um... I've never used something like this before. Um, the only thing that even come relatively close to this was the Miss Jessie's um, Silkening Cream Curl Curl Cream something. And that didn't do anything for my hair. So I really don't know what this is going to do. But this is like a nice size sample for somebody who has, you know, moderate you know, collarbone length hair. This will probably last you two or three times. So if you have this and you've used this, let me know what you think of this. And if you think if it will work on my hair. Um, if it, you know, would even do anything, or if it's just something that's going to go in a box. Alright, the next thing is the J.R. Watkins Hand and Cuticle Sal, which is... Sorry, I've got the... There we go. Looks like that. And I've got the glare from behind me coming. Sorry, guys. Alright, this is... 0.25 ounces, and it says a full size is $8.99. I do not think this is a full size. Um, I want to say they're full size, probably a couple ounces, maybe an ounce or two. But this is, ew, I just took the wrapper off and it's slimy. Gross. Alright, this is $8.99. to so slather on this creamy balm pre-manicure. It's full of natural moisturizers to keep your hands and cuticles super soft. Okay, I'm going to say I'm really dumb. I have no idea how to use a cuticle salve. I have no idea how to use those cuticle pushy things. I, I just, I, I don't. I don't. I don't use them. I paint my nails. Take the nail polish off and I paint them. Sometimes I'll file my nails if I have to. And this is not opening. Yeah, this is not opening. Nope. What the crap? With this for a little bit. This is what it looks like. Just. It feels very greasy. And it smells kind of like Ponzo. Ish. Pine sole on my hands. Nothing in the, the tin. Um, yeah, but it said, I think it said on here it was lemongrass. Hold on. Nope, <laughs> I was so wrong, it's lavender. Does not smell like lavender, unless I don't know what lavender smells like. Um, I, uh, it's really cream, it's not creamy, it's really greasy. It says it's supposed to be creamy, but it's, it's not. It's kind of greasy. I don't know, I'll have to try it out. If y'all can leave tips. Um, below on how to use a cuticle cream, please let me know. It says it's supposed to be pre manicure, but what do I do with it? Like, what's its benefits, you know? Alright, the next thing, which I was really excited to get because I've watched other um, beauty people 
I don't like the word gurus anymore, I'm sorry. Um, other beauty people on YouTube have gotten um, this, and I'm actually really excited. This is the Modico Shine Ultra Lip Gloss. This Australian brand's winning gloss coats lips with subtle color, plus the built-in mirror allows for easy on-the-go application. A full size is $16. So, so far my $10 box is worth $16 because this is full size. If this is not full size, then we have a problem. Um, I did try this out when I first got it. I love the smell. It's, mm, it smells, I'm going to be weird. It smells like cherry cobbler. But, all right. It is a very bright pink in the tube. And then that's it on my hand. It doesn't come out that dark on my lips. Let's see. The only thing I have on my lips right now is a uh, um, L'Oreal's Balm. So there's really no color payoff. Oh. I am not coordinated to do this. There we go. difference it does smell good so that's a plus um it's very moisturizing it's not sticky so i can see this going off um oh well, okay it's sticky on my hand i don't know why it's not sticky on my mouth i just i don't know how long this is gonna last it just as you can tell it just has a nice sheer wash this would probably be really good over um maybe like a dark red or like you know that's fall gorgeous burgundy colors but I don't have any they're all downstairs in my makeup bag to go to work all right the next thing is a sum sumita sumata sumite some ita I don't know s-u-m-i-t-a contrast eye pencil this extra bold eyeliner combines rich pigment with long lasting wear no smudges or smears a full size is eleven dollars all right, so this is the pencil I got. Does it say the name on here? Okay, it doesn't say what their name is, but it is a lime green. Like, okay, watch one swipe. I tested this out the other day. This was a light swipe. Like, really, this. Bam! I don't know if you can really see in this lot. Oh goodness. Oh, there you go, kind of. It's right there. Like you can tell, it looks like the color of the cap. It's gorgeous. It is very pigmented, and it says the full size is eleven dollars. So this is full size, eleven dollars. This is full size, sixteen. So far, my my ten dollar birch box is worth twenty seven dollars. This is the first time I've gotten anything this um, cost conscientious, I guess. All my other boxes have always been like samples and not worth ten dollars. But again, ten dollars you get what you pay for. So, but, um, I really wish this was a different color. Um, I don't know when I'd ever wear this bright of a green. I might wear it in springtime as in a, an upper waterline liner. I don't see wearing it down on my lower lash line because I would look like I have some sort of disease or I don't know. And I am rambling over a pencil. Alright, guys. And my lifestyle extra is a Chew Out Chocolatier, a 7-pack assorted Choco Pod. These bite sides. Uh, arsenal treats are made with premium Venezuelan cocoa and come in a range of unexpected flavors. A full size is $7.99. I don't know how many come in a full size. But this is most definitely not a full size. Oh, wait. A seven pack assorted thingy. Okay, so seven of them is $7.95. So these are a dollar each for the little one thingies. And this one is honeycomb. A mini chocolate bar, luscious amber honey, caramelized into crisp bits, and enrobed, ooh, enrobed, in dark chocolate. I don't know. It's very, oh, okay, <laughs> it's not hard. Alright, these this lap out style extra this month was supposed to go to somebody else, I think. I don't know, but, alright. Nah. It's not bad. Alright. 
and I just so noticed this, I didn't look at this earlier. This is the Chromatic Gallery, $15 dollars off for you Birchbox 15 and for a friend Birch Friend 15 expires 12-31-2012. Holy crap! Okay, y'all want this coupon? I'll leave it down below because I'm not going to use it. We found the right formula for perfect shoes. Start with heel height, adjust the fit, and multiply by rainbow of colors. The options are also oh endless. And at just $88 a pair. Okay, if you can spend $88 a pair on shoes, go for it. The coupon code will be down below. I cannot spend $85 or $88 a pair of shoes. And then minus the $15, it'll come out to $73. That's still a lot for a pair of shoes. Although my cowgirl boots were $150. Hmm. I wonder where that logic comes in. Anyway, that was the end of my birch box for November. Uh, I can't believe we're almost over. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving and be sure to check out my last video of me doing an open box from my final part of my elf gift swap from Halloween. Yes, I know it's past Halloween, but it's okay. And I hope to talk to you guys later. Leave comments and video responses below of your November birch box and what you guys thought of what I got and what you got. I would love to talk to you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.